Also out of Springfield this week, millions of dollars in state funding for Naperville. Governor Pat Quinn approved a $31 billion capital spending project, bringing nearly 450,000 state jobs over the next six years. NCTV 17's Lindsay Thies has more on where that money's going in your backyard. And with that, more than $130 million in state funding is coming to Naperville. Governor Quinn signed the first statewide capital construction bill to law in over a decade this week. The largest amount of funding for any statewide project on the bill, $125 million, will go towards expanding Route 59 from three to six lanes, stretching from Aurora Avenue to Ferry Road. It's going to be wonderful to be able to bring people to Naperville for jobs, people who live in Naperville being able to go to their jobs much more easily. In addition to the millions of dollars that state lawmakers put towards Route 59, they also allocated another $2 million towards the DuPage Children's Museum. And that's something that museum officials hope will help them end some of their long-term building bond debt. It was a great feeling. It was something that we'd been hopeful for and waiting for. That museum serves kids from all over our area, many children who wouldn't have an opportunity. Some taxpayers were upset that lawmakers could say they'd spend money on widening roads or paying building debt like at the Children's Museum instead of funding social service groups like Mutual Ground in Aurora that were going to possibly close if they lost state money. But State Representative Darlene Singer says comparing the two is like comparing apples to oranges. The Capitol bill has to go specifically towards a brick and mortar facility where the money for social services is to cover day to day operations. Capital is something that has to last at least 20 years. So this is an investment. State lawmakers approved an expansion of video gaming to help fund the construction projects. Officials say any bar or restaurant with a liquor license could have as many as three machines that play games like video pokers. But some lawmakers from the area aren't banking on that idea either. Video poker to me is the crack cocaine of gambling. The machines would generate nearly $350 million of state revenue. From there, local communities would get a 5% cut to spend on whatever they want. Municipal officials could also have the authority to deny video poker machines in Naperville. As for the city, officials say they're not sure yet what they plan to do. I'm Lindsay Thies, Naperville News 17. If Naperville officials do allow video gaming, they estimate it would bring in nearly a half a million dollars each year.